Y'all fellas, no, we just came through the rainy months. So, uh, if you ain't did it yet, I try to wait till it dry all the way up. And we dry it pretty good right now. So, if you still got them going through a lot of rain, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you see them not uh, sleeping in the house, uh, just get in there and uh, get that old, get a lot of that old. You know what I'm saying? Get a lot of that old, uh, that muddy, that muddy hay out. I, and, and, and fill it up with, with, with that fresh, that fresh hay. They love it. He coming out now. He could just cause I'm coming this way and, and fill it back up with, with, with some old fresh. Cause you know what I'm saying? We still gonna have a couple cold days. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we ain't all the way out there out the weather yet so but then but once it hit about mid-april you don't have to worry about it no more and you keep it dry this is my uh stepson little bully uh right now i'm, I'm keeping an eye on it while uh till the situation get better but uh yeah this is this little bully Y'all know I don't, I don't even talk to her. This is the first time I ever played real though. Ah, right, down, 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 down. I don't like dogs jumping on me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess if you like that type of thing, she's a pretty dog. Well, she got a pretty coat. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's just natural, cause I don't feed her no more than what I feed her the exact same shit I feed my dogs. Uh, and she still blowed it like that. I thought maybe she'll have a tone, but it, it's in them like this. That's just crazy. It's crazy. It's wild. I, it, it's some, you know what I'm saying? Something I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I might feed him more than what I feed her. And this is what people in the pit bull, well, outside the pit bull, the real American pit bull terrier, don't understand. Like, he might eat more than what she do, but his body is slicker, leaner, and stand out, and some idiot will say he's skinny. He's too skinny. You understand? Like... Fat is the new medium. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like, skinny is a disease. You know what I'm saying? Skin is not starving. You understand? So, people who think this dog is too skinny, I think this dog is starving. You understand? It's just stupid. they idiots. It's like... People who work out uh, for marathon runs is skinny, 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 skinny. Real showing why do they people don't lock them up for being like that? You understand? Or uh, people, kids. Say you take example, people, kids. Some people don't let their kids eat snacks. All throughout the day. You understand? And they kids is slim compared to other people. Why 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 is okay for a kid to be skinny, but your dog can't be skinny? It's not starving. You know what I'm saying? It is it's not on the verge of dying. So I don't get that. I don't get it, never will. Um It's just genetically, they are slim. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? If they game bread, most likely they slim. It's hard to get a game bread dog. You can feed, 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 feed. Some game bread dogs would not fucking eat as much as, you know what I'm saying? Another dog, another breed. 
they genetically not prepared to be fat. They look this way for a reason. And when you see a pit bull ribs, it's not that he's starving. His ribs normally is bigger than his chest. You understand? And it's a reason for that. For what they was bred to do, chase and hunt. They... And they've been more conditioned than uh, any other breed. So they could long capacity have to spread. You know, it has to be big. It has to be wide. So they ribs is bigger than their chest. So when you see they ribs, it ain't they starving. They starving when you can count. They, when a dog is starving when you can see their neck bones. That's starving. Y'all know what a starving dog look like. It's a totally different. And I feel like if you can't see my dog ribs, like at least two or three of them, I like to see about four. But if you can't see two or three of them, my dog is fat. That's how I feel. That's how it looked to me. But I feed him the exact same thing. The exact same thing as I feed this fat ass dog right here. The exact same thing. Nothing different. And she is big and healthy. Big and healthy. Big and healthy. Big and healthy. And this is a lot of people call this dog skinny. She don't. She just, like I was showing them, she just run, 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 run. So, and she pregnant right now. Uh, this is the biggest she ever been. Like normally, she she food knocked over. She on the ground. Goddamn, when I come back, but and she knocked up. I I could tell she took to. Uh, I could tell she took. Now, I'm not selling nothing off my quarter breed, but if somebody acquire anything off this one, if, if it's more than if it's more than four, uh, it will be up for grabs. They they will be up for grabs if it's more than four. Uh, so y'all had a first deal on that. Cause shit, I really don't post them about anything about selling them until, you know, like 16 weeks. <laughs> You know, I, I know how most dog men is programmed to start giving the Pavo shot at week four. I'm not, I don't do that. I'm not doing that. Um, if, 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 if I get a sick one, I would, I would, I would take the sick one out and uh, doctor on it and give the rest uh the Pavo shot. Yes, I would do that if I get a sick one at that age. But if nobody's sick... I would not give the shot until eight weeks. I don't. Eight weeks is when the shot need to be taken. Eight weeks, 12 weeks, and 16 weeks. I hear people talking about they get a shot every week from week four. So week four, week five, week six, week seven. We eight, you know what I'm saying, and uh, and again at week twelve, it's too much. That man, you killing your dog immune system. Dogs have their own natural immune system. The wolves don't get no motherfucking shots in a while, and inbred dogs catch parvo faster. You understand? Like these pups probably have a better chance of catching parvo than the quarter breed. You know what I'm saying? If if I went looking for this little so bad, I would try to go without the shot, period. Because I ain't never had Pavo on my yard. Uh, and so that's about basically it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had it on my yard. Only time I got Pavo when 
I was in a situation where I had to move my dogs and uh, it was in somebody else's house and they had a cage with the, you know with the uh with the with the concrete and that's the concrete I blame it on the concrete, you know. Uh, the only time I ever got it. So that's why I don't use concrete. Only time I ever got Parvo. I sent the pup to my bro, and he got sick and died from Parvo. But none of mine did. You know, I the same little. Nobody caught Parvo. Uh, and I think he had a concrete fenced in. So. It ain't the concrete, it's just the concrete, like the ground absorbs piss, shit. The ground eats anything that it touch. It eat up your wood, you know what I'm saying? That's why plastic live longer. Uh, but like wood, the ground eat up your wood. Look at your dog houses. The wooden dog houses, lift them up. It eating the bottom of that motherfucker out. The motherfucker roof might come off. Because I'm telling you, the ground eat up anything. So... So if you did have Papo, they say bleach the ground out. Um, just don't put nothing there that year. Let the seasons come around. I promise you, all that shit be gone next time, next year, that same time. But uh, that's all I had to say.